welcome everybody. My name is Carlos Rosas of the NIA Technique. And I'm Debbie Rosas. And we are here to talk to you about the sensation of NIA conditioning. You know, Carlos, when we were writing the NIA book and we were describing in the book that a movement was supposed to deliver strength or flexibility, I remember thinking, what does the sensation of strength feel like? And how do I really know that mm -hmm. I am conditioning my body? Can I recognize the sensation of conditioning? What does that really feel like? Well, we've come up with seven ways that we believe that you can use to track the presence of conditioning, the sensation of conditioning happening in your body. And the very first one is that it is personal that it is internal. What does that mean? That you need to check in with yourself. The sensation of conditioning is for you to determine. Only you can tell that it is happening. First thing you need to do is check in with yourself, check in with your body. And you know, once you're in your body and you right. recognize that, wow, I'm recognizing this sensation, there are yeah. so many different sensations. So the second way to recognize that conditioning is happening and the sensation of conditioning is happening is to know that there are many dynamic ways to recognize sensation. So for instance, one could be recognizing the sensation of strength. If you take your hands right now and make a claw, you will feel the sensation of strength conditioning happening right now. That's energy packing against the bone or hugging the bone. And now if you move your fingers and wiggle them, we call this creepy crawlers, this is actually the sensation of the conditioning of mobility happening. And then flick your fingers as if flicking water off. That's starting and stopping. That sensation is the sensation of agility conditioning happening. And then if you extend your fingers out, that is the sensation of flexibility, flexibility. conditioning happening. And then stability conditioning is really just that moment when things stop. It requires no effort, and it really feels a lot like you're relaxing or mm -hmm. waiting. And all of those sensations together, as they come in and out, as you do your movement and your dance, they leave you feeling almost um, holistically conditioned because like your tongue that has different taste buds, your body also has these different desires to, to be fed from a sensory point of view. So that's the dynamic sensation conditioning that we're talking about. You know, and all of that really leads into the third uh, tip that we bring for you, and that, it, that it, and that is that it is progressive, meaning that there is no breakdown. You, when you are moving, you're always feeling that you're building up mm -hmm. on it is progressive. It always gives you a sense that something is building up. And then this sensation, of course, builds up on all the sensations that Debbie was speaking about. And you know, I think that the idea that you can actually condition your body and strengthen your body without breaking it down, that is really, really unique. So the fourth way to recognize the sensation of conditioning is happening is to allow yourself to be seduced. Because sensations can be very seductive. And when the sensations are feel good, and when the sensations improve on the quality of your movement and they add to how you do what you do, there is a seductiveness that encourages you on, uh, in your own way to keep doing more. Not more because you want to do more repetitions, but right. more because the sensations that you're feeling feel so good that you can't wait to do it again. That's right. And then, you know, out of that, I can't wait to do it again, to me is the what I can do, and mm -hmm. that is the fifth sensation that we'd like to talk to you about, and that is empowerment or empowering. You are doing your movement, and you know, as a result of this, mm -hmm. when I go out there into the world, I will be able to do things. That is a true yeah. sensation. Yeah. And then number six, I love this word. We yeah. say that uh, everything in India is a sensation. So sensational. What we mean by sensational right. when it comes to the sensation of conditioning is that as you move the knee away, and you're moving in joy and you're in pleasure, that the body is becoming satiated and treated in such a way that all of the senses get excited mm -hmm. and eyesight becomes clearer, colors are brighter, 
hearing becomes more acute, um, breath becomes right. deeper. Um, I've even had people report that you know, they have more saliva in their mouth and they start swallowing more mm -hmm. and that what they sense through their skin is something that's very tactile, even Definitely. though they're not touching something. Sure. And this sensational experience and the integration of the senses brings people into a place that you and I know of as the zone, a very, very special place where heightened sensation is alive. That's true. And then the very last one, although we could share with you many of them, is the awareness that you have of yourself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and your own body, the sense of you being alive, as well as the environment that is all around you. This sensation really allows you to sense the, everything that is happening, not just in your body, but your mind, your emotions, and your spirit, that then you can make a statement like, this is who I am. And you know, awareness, awareness of self, awareness mm -hmm. of sensation, awareness of, of room, of the room, that, that consciousness really also has a sensation. And yeah. you know, one of my favorite ways to become familiar with the sensation of conditioning is through what we call palm direction and okay. using the palm so that mm -hmm. you can feel the exchange of energy. So if you take your palm and rub them together, what you're going to do, make sure you go over the heel of the hand and over the tip of the finger. And fingertips away moves energy away. Fingertips down is going to move energy and ground you, make you feel more relaxed. Fingertips up, that gives you a whole lot more energy. And if you do this for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then separate your palms, what you feel is the sensation of conditioning. The kind of conditioning that I'm getting from this right now is I'm conditioning my body's ability to be just what Carlos said, sensory aware, sensory aware. Nia conditioning is a sensation. It's a personal sensation that you need to learn to recognize, regulate, track, and monitor, and most of all, cultivate it in your body. We'd like to thank you for joining us. This is Debbie Rosas and Carlos Rosas of the NIA Tech.